Hey everyone, I got the new MacBook Pro 13 inch right over here. And like everyone says, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fantastic. However, there's something that not many people are talking about. As fast and powerful as it is, I can't hook it up to two monitors. One monitor stays black. It's got all this power, but ooh, it can't handle the two monitors. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get around that and make it work. So, all right, we're gonna fix this, okay? It's pretty amazing, huh? Like, I mean, this computer is having this issue here with like not being able to handle two monitors, but it's really fast and quiet. It's not like my 16 inch MacBook Pro, which was like starting to make really loud fan noises as soon as I opened up just Zoom or, or just like a couple of uh, Chrome tabs and it's like, Whoa, two Chrome tabs, I can't handle that. But this, pretty powerful. I'm sure you've seen your, the other reviews and if you haven't, check it out. But how crazy is that? Two monitors, it can't do that. It's built, it actually says that in the specs. It's like, nah man, we can only handle like one extra external monitor. So this is what we need to do to fix it, okay? All right, so let me demonstrate this and I think you could see that only one of the monitors is on. This product is what we're going to need, the HDMI adapter that's specifically using display link. And frankly, the adapter is a little uh, big, if you ask me, it's, it looks a little dorky that it's that fat. But I'm basically going to plug this into the USB here and then take one of my monitors and plug that into here and uh, I'll take this out. So right now I have one monitor going into the display link and the other one going into a display port um, and actually I meant to say it's going into USB the display link adapter is going to the USB port all right and what happened is this monitor the right side now is off and the left one is on but it should work I'm just gonna go ahead log in and reboot so now let's go ahead and log in. You didn't look at my keystrokes or my passwords, did you? All right, one monitor is still on, but the other one should come on in a few seconds once the display link detects it. And there you go. Just to prove to you, I can go ahead and move windows around just like any other setup. And you really couldn't tell any difference and life is a little bit better now the one thing I should mention is that you do need to install drivers for that adapter to work so let me show you that now so what we want to do is navigate to display link and go to downloads and you'll choose your operating system which in our case we're dealing with uh, Max, and then download this file here and run that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's really no configuring that you need to do, but if you want to see the steps, since I already have it installed, I don't want to try to risk screwing anything up. I'll send you a link to another video where I actually got the inspiration. I want to give the guy uh, credit. Ruslan Tulipov is his name. There it is, it's this guy. So he actually has the steps regarding this video editing performance. where you actually go through the installation. So I'll, I'll drop his link here um, so that you could actually uh, see the installation steps. Everything fits over USB. 
I think he's just configuring it over here. There it is, right over here. He's gonna walk you through the, the installation steps. After you install it, you'll see that there's a little icon here. That's a display link icon. And when you are plugging in your monitor to test it out, this right here should come up to say monitor detected. And uh, if not, it'll, it'll say no monitor detected or something to that effect. But that's how you know everything's working as it should be. So thanks to Rustlin and also thanks to uh, Nate P over here, because that was the very first video that I saw. But with the combination of these two videos, I was able to get mine working. All right, so that's how you set up an additional monitor using display link in order to work with the new M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch. If you figured out another way to get it working, let me know. But from all the research that I did, um, you gotta kinda use that adapter. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys had issues with it, if you were able to get it working. And I will see you guys in the next video.